This is the um, a Valentine's and, and Animal Instincts event that we host at the zoo annually here. Uh, it's become a, a tradition of late. Uh, and it's a nice event uh, filled with humor, uh, humorous presentation by um, one of our great keepers, Henry Kasperzik. And then it um, also entails a nice dinner uh, for our guests, a uh, formal sit-down dinner, uh, you know, and desserts and everything, and cocktails for them to enjoy. So something a little non-traditional for, for our friends in, of the zoo to, to come and enjoy this Valentine's. You know, it's, it is supposed to be a light-hearted uh, event and you know, presentation by someone as humorous uh, as Henry and talking about animal mating and, and such. Uh, you know, we do get a lot of great reactions, people finding it to be a very humorous event and, and coming back annually. It could be a little embarrassing because we are with our parents and yeah. I know it's going to be about like animal mating rituals, but we're all adults, right? Yeah, it'll be funny, yeah. entertaining. Mm -hmm. I think the audience sort of uh, comes away with an education. Uh, it's entertaining, it's fun, uh, it makes you look at yourself and some of the things we do as couples and uh, sort of tied into the animal world. I know some people don't want to admit it, but we're just another group of animals and sometimes seeing what the animals do and uh, making that comparison just makes a big difference in how we look at ourselves. I think we've been able to um see some comparisons between the animal kingdom and the human kingdom? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, um, she, sprung, yeah, she sprung it on me. I didn't know where I was coming tonight. So. He's, he's the romantic one, generally, so I decided that I would be the one that plans Valentine's Day this time. So It's great. I, I, was, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, <laughs> when I came through the down the river I didn't know where I was going but this was a really nice uh, evening. Because we're having our wedding here it was a good opportunity we actually brought both of our parents with us and just thought it would be a nice night out. And That's also, something different. Yeah. Most parts were funny it, it, it seemed like more of an instruction but when he had come to the uh, parts about mating rituals it was, it was humorous. Yeah it was entertaining. Well, we do talk about a number of animals, you know, one of the things that people come into a zoo and you'll hear some guys with their girlfriend or their wives and, you know, see a tiger and think, wow, you know, you're a tiger. I try to explain to people that you know, a tiger is a great animal, but it's not the biggest compliment. You know, if you uh, ever watch tigers mating, he grabs a female and maybe breeds for about five seconds. She rolls off and knocks him off her, her back and sends him away. Five seconds, he's done. You know, hovering close by is probably the animal that I, I think is, you know, something I'd prefer to be called. The lowly dung fly is, is hovering close by and it can copulate for two hours. I mean, if there's a real compliment for your girlfriend or, or wife, it's saying you were a dung fly last night.